Hi everyone and welcome back to Internet Racing School or how I like to call it IRS Wool, my channel. Guys, today I'm visiting super amazing event and this is Autosport Show. This is the biggest event in UK. It's happening once a year in January in Birmingham in a NEC um, arena or showroom. I'm not sure how it's uh, called. Yeah, so today I'm here guys and uh, so guys, it's a, it's a plenty of different cars, plenty of different uh, championships. Uh, they they here today, they're showing their cars, they uh, showing their calendars, everything, everything they're showing here. So today we have a opportunity to find out about most of the champions, about most of the championships. I'm not sure. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to go around all of them and to chat to all of them, but I'll definitely to try to do as much as possible. So yeah, guys, let's go and um, yeah, let's see what we can find out here. Let's see what information we can find out here. It's definitely going to be interesting because it's uh, uh, cars. Also, I can see here go cars. Look, just over there, and we're going to go there. This is the uh, Daniel Ricciardo series in UK. Uh, which is uh, happening first year in 2019 so I'll you know what let's go let's find out more information about this event because uh, it looks interesting and it should be lots of interesting information and then I'm gonna go and find out about the cars right guys so um, here I am I'm uh, just inside of the pavilion uh, where uh, Sir, you know, it will be better if you tell what exactly happening in this pavilion. Right, okay. So this is the Daniel Ricciardo series. Um, it's uh, a one-make karting series, which is backed by Formula One driver Daniel Ricciardo. Um, all the karts are the same, so it's a mono brand. All the engines, the chassis uh, and the tyres, everybody has to use the same. Um, we don't allow any teams in the paddock. Okay, it's all privateers. So the idea is to put the emphasis on the driver's ability and not the budget. So the carts, are, compared to all the other kartings uh, that are available on the market, um, they're about half the cost. So the cadet cart, which is from, you can race from six years old uh, to 13 years old if you, if you want to. Um, that car is £2,850 plus that. Wow. And to run the eight round championship, you own the car. Um, really, all you need is the car and, the, and your rain tires, and obviously your trolley, and maybe a micron or something. Um, but to run the, the championship for eight rounds, um, most of our cadets are spending between two and three thousand pounds. That includes uh, eight sets of slicks, your entries, your practice fee your consumables, you know, like chain and sprocket, bits and pieces. For a season? For a season. Wow. So it's eight rounds. Uh, it's a national championship. We're going to Rara, Fulbeck, uh, Clay Pigeon, uh, Wilton Mill, Shennington, GYG, Landau. Um, so um, we hire the, the circuit exclusive. So uh, it's only uh, Daniel Ricardo carts in the paddock. Okay, we have our own race team, uh, race direction team. So we have our own marshals, race director, our own timekeeper. So we're wow. really, really, um, it's important for us to have high customer service. Um, and the biggest thing is that really, if it's kept uh, in good maintenance, any cart with obviously the right driver on the grid can win the race. So nobody has any special engines. Uh, we. We service all the engines and we uh, have a service schedule for all the drivers. So nobody's trying to spend money to try to get an advantage. We control everything. And at the end of the day, it should be about the driver's ability and not much, you know, not how much money that they're spending. Uh, we don't have the pushback bumper for the penalties. Okay, so we have a very good race direction team. But for example, if a driver um, hits another driver and, and they make a place so straight away they get a two place penalty if our race direction Ooh. team has seen it um, we have different penalties but so, the penalty system is better than getting a five or ten second penalty because a ten second penalty you could be in fifth place down to 24th over the weekend Saturday and Sunday you get um, nearly two and a quarter hours track time 
Um, you know, so uh, on the Saturday you get five 15 minute sessions uh, of practice um, and on the Sunday nearly an hour of racing. So compared to other karting series, we give the most track time I think in the UK, Eat you know, lot, yeah. to, to drive your car because that's why you bought it, right? It's a lot, yeah. yeah so. and, and the final thing, um, you know, people who still don't know about you, can you give them information where they can find out about the championship? Yeah, so they can uh, go to DanielRicardoSeries.com or follow the Daniel Ricardo series on Instagram. Uh, Daniel's fully behind the project um, and he's going to try and get to one of the races next year to show some support. But it's a very good series. Um, and I think uh, the track time for costs and for fairness, I don't think anyone else can offer what we're offering. Nice one. And what is your name, sir? I'm Andy Cox. Andy Cox. Uh, guys, so all the details about the Daniel Ricciardo Championship, I will leave in a, in a, I will leave you a link in the details down below. In the description down below, guys, as usually. In the bio. bio. In the bio, <laughs> yes, exactly. And um, also, if uh, you will let me to film one of your rounds, guys, I'm going to be there. <laughs> yeah, well, you can come along. All the, all the races actually are live streamed. We have the wow. live stream. But, you know, you're more than welcome to come down and uh, have a look and uh, see what it's all about. We start April, in the beginning of April, at Clay Pigeon. Uh, but if you go to DanielRicardoSeries.com, uh, click on the top and go to events, then you can see the calendar where we are. I already have all the dates in my calendar, okay, I'll be honest. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for all, all this right. information, sir. It was amazing. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Here we go. We had the information about Daniel Ricciardo, the championship. Um, now, um, let's see what we have, what else we have here. Also, here there is a simulators. And maybe you can, uh, someone can talk to me on the camera a little bit about the idea of these simulators. Okay. Yeah, these are. Uh, what uh, is your name, sir? My name's Gavin from Kevin. Radical Simulation, and we're at the Rimstock stand, and we have uh, on display two of our simulators, both motion. Uh, one is triple screen, and the other one is VR. So here we have uh, one of our drivers. Oh, this is your driver. Yeah, one of our drivers, so he should do all right. That's why he's driving so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'll be honest with you, I tried it already and I've been so rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not easy, it's not easy, but it's very, it's very immersive using the VR. Are you every year here? Yeah, pretty much every year here, but we work with different uh, clients. So obviously this year we're working with Rimstock, we've worked with Autocar uh, for the last four or five years. Um, but yeah, we're here every year. And what is the main idea? Um, the main idea for us is to promote our simulators. Promote the simulators? Yeah, promote our simulators. We do hire for corporate events, mainly uh, corporate clients, and we do sales as well. I'll be honest with you, it's very realistic, especially in yeah. the Oculus Rift. Yeah. I, I even had a little bit head dizzy because, yeah. it, it, you know, it's, it's you realize that you, with a computer, yeah. but when you turn your head, you... But with, with motion, it does help with the motion sickness yes. a lot yeah. because it's, it's, it's uh, moving your body to what your brain's saying and it's a bit more uh, realistic. When, it's, when you've got a static simulator in VR, then it could be a bit off, off-putting because yeah. your brain's telling you one thing and when your body's not moving don't, to what your brain's... Feeling, exactly. Yes. Everything has to be in sync. As soon as everything's in sync, then um, it feels much more realistic and then it gets gets rid of uh, a lot of the motion sickness. Nice one, thank you very much for information, no sir. And guys, 2019, uh, sorry, 2020, next year, if you're yeah. here, visit come the simulators, us. come and see them, and uh, have that fun. I'll, I, yeah. I promise you, it's, it's amazing, it's an amazing feeling. Thanks thank you very much, sir, Cheers. thank you. Right, here we are, guys. Um, this is what's about simulators, which I, um, which I tried. Oh, actually, um, Wait a second, let me turn around the camera. Look, here I found Brit Car Championship. And they already have provi provisional dates. So, uh, look at that Aston Martin. This Aston Martin, uh -huh. what kind of championship is it doing? Um, it's this GT4. Oh, GT4. Yeah. You, you're okay for film us when of we're talking? Course, yeah. yeah? Uh, and the GT4, um, can you tell me a little bit more about the championship? Because, uh, you know, I'm quite new to the racing. Um, I can't tell you too much. Um, Desmond Smale is the owner driver. Uh -huh. And um, Henry's his partner. 
and uh, yeah, he sort of sponsors it for their own business, which is uh, Desmond J. Smale, the Aston Martin specialist. Uh -huh. But it's not only for Aston Martins, it's uh, the, the uh, championship. Yeah, it's uh, this one is a GT Challenge, so it's mainly, I believe it's Porsches, like 911s, and then the Aston Martins. Oh, so Porsches and only Aston Martins? Yeah, I think so, yeah, or well, mainly. Wow. It's like a quite a small, I think they're all like a gentleman's racer category. Okay, and maybe you can tell a little bit about this car. Uh, what type of engine does this have? Uh, it's a 4.7 litre V8. It's Whoa. the same as uh, the Aston Martin V8 Vantage, but uh, this is a works built racing car, so it was built by Aston Martin Racing. It's actually, I'll show you on the. Uh, yes. So there's the little plaque from AM Racing, so this is number 24. Sorry. It's N24. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is V8 4.7. That's correct, yeah. And and what what, what speed does it um, is that from zero to oh sorry, what time from zero to sixty? Uh I'm not honestly sure. Zero to sixty? Say around five seconds. Five seconds? Yeah. But the way it's geared, it will probably top out about 170 mile an hour, but then it's made for pure acceleration on the track. It's about 500 kilograms less weight than the road going version of it, so it weighs 1300 oh. kilograms. So, because it's, it's, it's completely it's a race car, ripped yeah. off, yeah, yeah it's completely stripped, stripped out, yeah, yeah, stripped out, yeah. And uh, what is the top speed of this car, roughly? Well, roughly, probably about 170 miles an hour. Wow, wow. and um, what they, they do this championship in UK. Oh, we believe so, yes. Yeah, they did a championship in the UK, maybe over in Europe. We're not 100% sure, um, but yes, we believe we, we believe so. Okay, so here we go. This is, was information about this Aston Martin and about the championship GT, uh, GT4. Championship GT4. And here... Here we go, here we have Ginetta. But last year I used to film about this Ginetta, which is Ginetta G40. And look, this Ginetta, yeah. This is G40. Oops, oh, sorry, my camera. Um, I'm still quite new to my uh, stabilizer. Here we go, so about this Ginetta G40 and about this Ginetta GT. Uh, what is that, G55? Yeah. Yeah, G55. Sorry, GT4. Geneta GT4, not G55. Geneta GT4. But I don't know nothing about these Genetas. <laughs> right, uh, what is your name, sir? Mike Simpson. Mike Simpson. Guys, so uh, Mike Simpson, he's going to explain us a little bit more about these uh, Ginettas because yep. we don't know nothing about them. Okay. Um, because I, last year I used to film about Ginetta G40 yep. and GT54. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. But this one I see first time. The First of all, where is the championship happening for this Ginetta? Okay, well, we have three prototypes, sports prototypes. So uh -huh. we start at LMP3, which is a worldwide homologated Whoa. classification, yep, which is, is over in the far corner. And then from the LMP3, we made our own evolution onto what we call the G58. So this is a car, it's not got homologation for ACO events, but for any open sports car race or track days or private testing, it's a very fast car. So it's an LMP3, five seconds faster, ABS, traction control, passenger seats, air conditioning. ABS. Yeah, yeah. So it's a very fast car, but very easy to drive. We've made it for the gentleman track day market. So we probably sell 50% to track day customers and the rest go and race international sports car races. So we, South Africa, we've won the Miami 500, uh, the prototype Creventic series. So it's a, it's a very good car for the money, very good. In, in UK, where we can see this car? It's running the Brick Car Open Sports Car Championship, but uh, in the UK, not so much. It's mainly an export car. So we, uh -huh. we, we sell around the world. Wow, and um, what is the engine in this car? It's a Ginetta built. Uh, 6.3 V8, so we, we, we make the block, we make the crankshaft, everything in-house. It's a rocket. It's very fast, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's no, it's very fast. 920 kilos, 600 horsepower. And, and what is the top speed of the car? Uh, with the gear in, probably 195, 200. 
So that, that, that's cool. That's, that's very cool. fast. And the way you tested this car here in UK, do you know any lap times for UK circuits? Yeah, Silverstone Grand Prix, they did a 1.49. 1.49? Yeah, um, yeah, Paul Ricard, complete circuit with the chicane is a 1.54. It's quick. Very fast, yeah, you know, compared to GT3, maybe six, six to eight, six seconds faster, LMP3, four seconds faster. Very Amazing. Fast. So, thank you very much for all this information. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Guys, so here we go. This is what's about this Gineta. Um, uh, very, I'll be honest with you, very interesting information. And um, uh, I, I want to say, only here at the auto show, I see this car. Uh, first time I see this car. Okay, uh, let's see what else we can find here. Let's go quicker because it looks like the uh, show is coming to the end. Right, guys, and right now I moved into the BRSCC pavilion and uh, just next to me, what's your name, sir? Uh, Scott. Scott. Uh, Scott, can you tell a little bit about BRSCC? Because I'm quite new for the ra to the racing, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, BRSCC, a bit of history, how it came to these days like this? Yeah, well BRSCC has existed for almost 70 years, we're one of the largest um, car, uh, um, motorsport clubs in the UK which organises a host of different championships and hosts different race meetings. Um, we've hosted all, all sorts of stuff from all up and down the country. We've hosted international events, things like FIA GT and sort of a World Endurance Championship all the way through the age of the 60s and 70s. We've done international race of champions at Brands Hatch. Um, we've helped out with things like the British Touring Car Championship on some meetings before back as far as more recent as the 90s and sort of nowadays we offer a range of different club championships for either single seaters or GT and touring cars or saloon and production cars or single seaters it's really supposed to be as cost effective as possible as we can make it for someone to simply just go racing whether it's their career minded or whether they just want to go and have some fun or someone in between who just wants to enjoy racing a car for the first time so we run about sort of 30 to 35 different race meetings we oversee Ooh. about 25 different championships of a wide variety so we've got a, hopefully something for everyone to pick from and hopefully something that could, some, something which can help uh, someone get on track and find something they enjoy you know i can see that you have here uh, from the budget and all the way to the top specs you know um, can you tell a little bit the, the most affordable budget racing which one you would recommend in brscc that's like saying pick, pick your favorite child really in terms of there's all sorts of different <laughs> different um routes you can go i'd say some of the more cost effective routes i mean if we go one by one i mean um if you're going to go a gt or touring car route at the moment i mean for anyone you can afford it we've got tcr uk i know tcr is a big they have tcr all over the world in europe they have it in germany italy it's part of the world touring car cup tcr uk came in uh last year and it's their second season really tcr has been a platform it's a, the way i like to call it it's a multi-purpose cost-effective touring car platform. So you can take pretty much the exact same car, for example, race it in TCR UK, and you can race it in anywhere that will take TCR over the next few weeks. You could take it to Germany, to Italy, you could take it to the US if you wanted to, to race it in, or VLN in Germany at the Nürburgring in an endurance category. You could do what you really what you want with that with car. With the same car? With the same car. You might have to change tires on a couple of them, but you've, we've had some drivers in TCR UK race in TCR Europe as well. They've kept exactly the same car, exactly the same tires, roughly exactly the same setup. They've just basically taken it up to the circuit and raced it, and it's been exactly the same spec. Um, if we're looking at stuff like sports cars, we've got a couple of options. Um, the, one of the most popular is the Mazda MX-5 championships that we run. Oh, yeah. Um, so, for example, we have here, if you want to look at the camera, we've got the Mazda MX-5 Mark III. We have um, a series which is called the MX-5 Super Series that was, came in last year. And we also have the MX-5 Super Cup that's been around since sort of in its current guise since about 2013. Um, and these get really competitive grids, really good amount of drivers. We get roughly about sort of... 25 plus drivers per meeting super series is starting to build up it's a nice it's a non-point scoring series so you get a chance to just race one of these cars in like a, a low pressure environment because the super cup gets very competitive and there's a lot of very good drivers in it a lot of very good regulars you do get some professional drivers that will come in and they will find that um they get surprised by the level of competition because it's very very competitive um if we're looking possibly at saloon cars an option which is right down the end is the bmw compact cup uh, oh, yeah. which is um, you can pretty much buy a donor car for that for as little as 500 pounds and put one together for all the parts, parts that you need for about not much more than about five six thousand pounds you can race that most drivers that run it build the cars themselves because they're that easily accessible their website has an online shop that you can find pretty much everything that you need to put it together and then mo there's hardly teams that run there's one or two categories one or two uh, outfits that run cars but the majority are all self-built independent drivers who can sell them on and they can use them in several different championships um, another one which is also just a couple of cars down which is the civic cup 
that is for mainly sort of a couple of different generations of Honda Civic Type R. Uh, so that's been come with us since 2017. It's been with other clubs in the past, but they've joined our club recently. A very close sort of touring car style tin top race, which is very close. And we've also got for saloon cars, we've got um, two Fiesta Championships. So the green car on the right, that represents the more senior, what we call the Fiesta Championship. And then the blue car represents what we call the Fiesta Junior Championships. So that's for drivers aged 14 to 17 years old on a junior license who want to race. 14 years old? Yeah, 14 to 17 years old. Um, Unbelievable. Some people, some people don't believe you can race that, that, that young on a, on a circuit, but you can. Um, and the cars, they're limited with a restrictor on the power, so they, they don't produce too much. Um, we've had people who come through, raced in British touring cars. Uh, they've won British GT Championships, they've raced in TCR, they've raced in the Toka Package, in Minis, they've raced in all sorts of different categories. Um, but it's only been around for seven or eight years, but it's produced a nice alumni of different drivers that have come through to varying levels of success and high level championships. Um, and then single seaters, really, the only option we've really got in terms of, well, I say the only option, is we've got Formula 4. That's been around for just about just over 50 years. Um, we do, yeah. So it's um, it's one that's still one of the best proving grounds for young drivers. So drivers can you, there's no aerodynamic grip. It's all mechanical. Uh, the cars don't really have any sort of depreciation. You can buy a chassis with any age as long as you know how to set it up. It can be competitive. Um, we cater to a national championship that pretty much runs all across uh, England, Wales, and also has around the Northern Ireland. And we also have uh, a northern championship that's situated around circuits like Alton Park and Anglesey. Um, and as well, we have a centrepiece event at the end of the year, which is called the Formula Ford Festival. That's been going for almost 50 years. It's like an end of season shootout to kind of see who can be the, the best sort of Formula Ford driver of the year. Um, loads of famous Grand Prix drivers and you know, sort of famous names in motorsport have come all the way through that. So it still continues to be a very, a great traditional race for people to be part of. And you do get some drivers who have gone on to high categories they like to step back and give it a go because they enjoy racing formula fords um, and yeah that's it and in between there's so many different championships we've got on like on the stand here we've got alfa romeo's we've got um, production gti for volkswagen golfs um, we have uh, a porsche championship as well which we race boxes and 924s um, if you've got a sports prototype there's an oss championship which is for a variety of different classes for sports prototypes both open and closed top and there's a few other championships that we have which aren't here uh, today but it really much covers the spectrum. We also have the um, we also the, the home for the Caterham Motorsport uh, ladder of championships from the academy all the way through to, to 420R. So there's, there's a lot to choose from. There's a lot of different yeah. options. Yeah. Um, but the main thing is that, like as I said earlier on, it's something for everyone. Something can go through and pretty much give it give a try to anything they want to go for, whether it's a high end budget or a low end budget. There is something that can cater to anyone's taste and anyone's uh, anyone's price range. It's uh, amazing information. Uh, guys, uh, brscc.co.uk, if you want to find more information, go that website. As usually, link in the description down below. And um, thank you very much again for this information. Amazing information. Okay, guys, so this is, was information about BRSCC. Um, so you heard all that information, you know what they're doing, and you know how many championships they're doing. Now here, uh, just on the side of me, this is a BTCC car, Volkswagen Passat CC, and this is a Team Hard, teamhard.com. Um, and look, even here, they have uh, this year four drivers, Bushel, uh, Bordley, Chris, uh, Thompson. Uh, with one of these drivers, I had a conversation at the Brands Hatch, I had a camera chat. Um, so you will see it in my next video, definitely. Um, Okay, and let's move forward. Um, you know, just now I see, here we go, I see these Mini Coopers, Mini Cooper Challenge. Well, of course we understand that this uh, championship is about uh, Mini Coopers, but you know what, let's find out a little bit about the vehicles. Hello, sir. Hello. I'm, I'm sorry, my name is Anatoly. I'm just filming today for my YouTube channel. Are you okay on the camera explaining me a little bit about this Mini Cooper Championship? I okay. can, yes. Definitely. A, a little yeah, bit no about problem. history. And, and because I know you run three different classes. That's correct, yes. Yeah? Three so, different classes. So first of all, how the championship became alive? How, how everything started? So it was started by Mike Cooper. Mike Cooper uh, is the son of John Cooper. Yeah. John Cooper works and the uh, Cooper race uh, Formula One team from uh, 1950s, I think it was. Uh, so he, the Mike Cooper was John Cooper's son. He um, set up the, the Cooper championship back in 2002 and then in 2005 there was a Cooper S championship also added in 
Uh, that carried on for uh, quite a few years until 2010 or 11 when another version of the car came in and then in 2014 we introduced the JCW class. So, uh, so today top class. you run three classes? Three classes, so, the Cooper class, Cooper class, the Cooper S class and the JCW class. And a little bit, what is the difference between them? So the Cooper class is the entry level car, it's a 15 year old car at about 130 horsepower, so very underpowered. 1.6, yeah? 1.6 litre, normally aspirated. So it's uh, going to be S, Mini Cooper S, uh, the, the normal car. So the, uh, that's the Cooper. Oh, that, uh, sorry, that got, one. It, got it, and got it. So that's a normally aspirated, 130 horsepower, uh, great little fun car to drive, not especially uh, fast, but great, great. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the um, Cooper S class, which is the 1.6 turbo and 1.6 supercharged. Oh, turbo. Yeah, now so they're it. about 200, uh, 200, 210 horsepower. And then we have the latest generation, third generation, JCW class car, which is the two litre turbo, 265 horsepower, sequential gearbox, wow. really high performance. little Beetle, exactly. two litre engine. Exactly. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm definitely going to visit this year your championship. I want to see Sounds that. Sounds great. <laughs> Guys, about Mini Coopers, I will leave your website in the description down below. So if you're interested about something, you can go there and you can check it. Thank so, you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Thank you. It's <laughs> okay, guys, let's move forward and um, Let's find out some more, 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 more information. Uh, here is BTCC cars. This is Alfa Romeo Duo. Look, this is Honda Civic uh, Gardex protection. Uh, this one is Ford F Focus. Chilton, Tom Chilton. Very good driver. Uh, Mercedes, raw bottom, Mercedes A-Class, and over there is the Vauxhall Astra. This is Vauxhall Astra. And who drive Vauxhall Astra? I forgot who drive Vauxhall Astra, guys. Um, yeah, but where is my uh, famous car? Colin Turkington, BMW. Okay guys, look what I found. This is a Clio cap. This is Renault Clio and uh, there is a special championship which, it, which is called Clio cap. Um, uh, these cars, um, I'll be honest with you, I've seen the championship because it's happening together with BTCC and these cars are very, very quick. So um, yeah, uh, let's see if I can find some information about this Clio. What's your name, sir? Um, I'm Dan. Dan, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dan, can you tell? Uh, first of all, Clio Cup is happening uh, many years in UK, yeah. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, um, it's been going as long as the Tokyo package in the UK has been around. Wow, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a long time, yeah. And uh, listen, what, what, what type of car is this? I mean, I know this is Renault Clio, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what type of engine? What 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 the horsepower? So we are looking at a 220 horsepower car for 1.6 liter turbocharged engine. It's the same engine as you would get in a um, Nissan Juke Nismo. Wow. So it, it's taking a pretty large engine, put into a tiny car. I've been watching BTCC and at the same time, because we're not clear happening together with BTCC. Yeah. Yeah, at the same day. And uh, I can say that they're quick. They, they are very quick. When, you, yeah. when you're comparing them with BTCC, it, it might be very, very small difference. Yeah, I mean, obviously um, they have a lot more power and a lot more um, a lot more conf configurations of the car but uh, yeah this is a homogenated like car so we can't really change much but yeah it's still quick right so arena clear now we have a bit of information about Renault clear and what we have here hello sir sure, can I ask you a few questions yeah. uh, this is um, Radical. Yes, this is yeah, Radical. Yeah, oh. yeah. And can you tell me what championship uh, this Radical this can do? This runs in the OSS Championship. Um, and we're OSSS. OSSS. OSSS Championship. OSSS. It's a national championship which the students run in. What does it mean, we, OSSS? We, it's. Uh, it's a, oh, that's a good question. It's, it's, <laughs> 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 it's, a, it's a national championship that, that we won the championship in 2018 actually, but ah. it, it follows all national circuits in the UK. Student run team, teacher driver. Um, wow. And they, they uh, yeah, do a, a great job at you know practicing what they learn in the classroom. So this one race in UK only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and, and the, what is the engine this car have? This has a Hayabusa. Both the white one there in the, in the picture is our radical. This is a customer's car that they rebuilt uh -huh. over the winter, but a Hayabusa engine. Uh, what what's the capacity? Uh, 1.4 is our one oh, we 1. have. 1.4? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Is that chain drive? Yeah. Chain drive? Yeah. Wow, but I saw, I've seen them, they're very quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what is the top speed of this vehicle? Uh, for what we do, about 140 for our gearing. 140, uh, 40, yeah. And, and this class, this is like, it, it, it's definitely not beginning class. No, 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 certainly not. No, this is a competitive championship. You know, it takes, yeah. Um, it, it's so a, sorry. Where, where people move after this and how they move I mean, into like, this I championship? Mean, students, I mean, for our students' point of view, we enter it as a college um, and our students work through as, a, as part of their course, um, they do a course, they go racing through the championship and then they end up in jobs like McLaren um, here in the Mon teams. And we've got Force India, so our students to go on to. Nice one. This gives them the experience, that's the idea. I'm still going to find more information about... <gasps> wow, look what I found, I found... I found something interesting, something interesting. I don't know what is that, guys. <laughs> but look at that car's BMW, uh, Ford, uh, what is that, is that Ford? Should be Ford, uh, I, oh, F Ford as well, Puma, Ford, Puma, uh, this is the old Ford, <laughs> and, and look at this, and I don't know, is that go-kart or it's not, but it's, it's the platform of the go-kart, the chassis of the go-kart, but the top is self, uh, self-made or, or Do you know which one can I talk about these vehicles? Yeah. Is that you? You can talk to... Well, we're, no, I, ju I, just, I just want... This is your car? From my daughter's car. Oh. Yeah. She's only got a little... Are, are you okay yeah. to talk with me on the camera a little bit about this car? I, I just want to find out what kind of championship is it. Yeah, yes, because this is two-wheel saloons, yeah? Uh-huh. Um, what was it? It's a uh, two-wheel ZTEX. Uh, that's the engines we run now. Uh -huh. Um, very popular car all over Britain. And, and this is, com com as I can see, it's a completely self-made, yeah? It's a, we call it a, it's a space frame, yeah? A space frame, yeah. Space frame yeah. car, and all they do is put the, like, the, the skin off a, you know, a Mondeo, Mondeo roof. Ah, yeah. Just Mondeo to, roof, to make yeah. it, and the tops of the doors are like Mondeos. Yes. Just yeah. to make it look like a car. And yeah. what, what engine's here? Uh, it's a 2 liter z -Tec, uh, 2 liter z -Tec, yes. Uh, uh, you know, like a Mondeo or a Ford Focus. And what kind of championship you can do on this car? Uh, what do you mean by that? Just uh, we're what, what type of championship you, you do? What type of race you do? Well, it's saloon stock cars. Saloon uh, stock saloon, cars. It's two liter saloon stock cars, and it's a uh, contact. Oh, it's a contact allowed. Like that, like that's a thirteen hundred there, right? And that's a mini. It's all contact, but this is the hardest contact, the two liters. Wow. This is you know if uh, you know if there's twenty cars out there. You're, uh, if that car's in front, you can hit it out wide or spin it. It's full contact. It's dangerous. Yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds a bit dangerous. No, uh, and um, it, we're happening this uh, championship. Uh, the, well, we're Scottish, yeah. Scottish, yeah. We're Scottish. Uh, we, we, it's a Cowden Beath the Race Wall. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of that, yeah? Uh, no, no, I never heard about it. I'll no, be honest with you. But, but it's, uh, the, uh, we do Cowdenbeath. Uh, we've got Aberdeen up in Scotland. That's another place. Yeah. And uh, then we come down, you know, Skegness. Yeah, I know Skegness. Uh, yeah. Kings Lynn. Yeah. Ken on the Shale. Uh, there's Taunton. So it's many circuits in Scotland. No, only two in Scotland. Oh, only two in Scotland. Yeah. Cowdenbeath, the race wall. Yeah. And, and Crimmond. Uh, that's Aberdeen area. Ah, that's, that's it. further up. That's it. further up. Yeah. You just named so many places. <laughs> but then, but so we will race uh, on a Saturday night at Cowdenbeath. Yeah. Then uh, we'll go in the pits and we'll uh, you know take the diff out and put in another diff. Then we'll travel through the night and go to Skegness, eight hours away through the night. Wow. Then we'll race at Skegness. Then we'll come home on Sunday night and go to work on Monday morning. It's good. like tonight. We're we're going home tonight. We're eight hours going home. We'll be home at two o'clock in the morning, I hope. And tomorrow you go to work? I'll be at my work at eight. Oh my God. Holly, <laughs> she works with me in the garage. Oh really? She works with me, yeah. 
Wow, what, 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 what are you doing in the garage? Are you, are you... My mechanics. Are you mechanics? Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe I need to visit you and film. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we do, we work in the garage and uh, as I say, we'll be home, whenever we get home tonight, we'll be up in the morning again. Unbelievable, unbelievable. But as I say, Holly is the only two litre saloon driver in Great Britain. I mean, it's quick. Yeah, yeah. Holly used to be a Formula 2 driver just till, uh, well, last year. Because uh -huh. Holly's uh, little brother, he races these as well. Oh, and brother? Bar but Holly and Barry are in the same race. They've got two litre saloons. Wow, yeah. wow, they must be big competitors. <laughs> well, that's it, yeah, so, but that's what happens. Uh, nice one. Thank you very much for this information, yeah. sir. Okay, and, yeah. Um, maybe one day I'll turn up and I'll you have, have to a look. You have to come to Cowden Beath. <laughs> yeah. Are you based in England, yeah? In London. Oh, London, yeah. In London, yeah. yeah. Well, what you should do, the, the best thing you could do would be the, the speed weekend at Skegness. That is brilliant. When is happening? Now, you'd have to uh, look on the, the, the site because I don't know when it is yet. Uh -huh. You know what happens first? We're racing, at, uh, maybe, uh, we're racing at Ipswich first. We're racing at Ipswich this year. Ipswich, yeah. That's the, world cha the National Hot Rod World Championship. Yeah. And the saloons are on as well. So uh -huh. there's going to be Scottish and English. And that's uh, a bit of a battle. Wow. Yeah. That's going then, to be... Then we race there that weekend. Then uh, the next week we'll go to Skegness on the way home. Aha. Uh -huh. So, and that's a huge weekend. That's the places you, you would go if you were going... Where, where can I find the all information? Uh, is there any website where I can, I can see that? Uh, there would be on the Saloon Stock Car page. Saloon Stock yeah, Car it would, page, yeah. yeah. it would be on it, yeah. Brilliant. Because the dates are just coming out now, you know, for all the meetings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to think. It's uh, June or July... I'll check it on Ipswich. their page. I'll check it on their it's page. A, it's, it's a national hot rods and two liter saloons. That's what will be on that weekend. Right, guys. So we find out this is stock cars. This is stock cars. So we find the information. Um, and now I know that you see these frames. As long as the car has these frames, this is a stock cars. And uh, they do contact with each other. They bang into, into each other. <laughs> must be interesting i definitely want to visit it you know what so many plans for this year but um i don't think i'm gonna uh i'm gonna be able to film everything <laughs> So is it possible to speak on the camera for my YouTube channel a little bit about this event? Oh, don't me. He's the best one there. Ah, he's the best. So I'll come back to you. I just wanted to find out uh, like, um, why police vehicles at this uh, autosport show. Oh, it's just about road safety, like, you know, telling people not to drink and drive and uh, drive vehicles properly on the roads, some education for kids, um, make sure they wear the seat belts and stuff like that. So that's what we're here for. That, that's quite an amazing yeah. idea, and, and, um, and you know, for me, it was interesting to see the cars as well, because uh, I've never seen a Jaguar 4x4, yeah. the police car. Is that something coming instead of BMWs? No, no, that's a, a promotional thing from Jaguar that they send to different forces so we can use um, just on our roads to promote their vehicles, uh, and it benefits us as well, because we can use it as well as an educational tool as well. That's why people come here and they look at this, they see this Jag, yeah. and they automatically think it's a police car, it's not a police car. Oh, really? right. Yeah, we've just got it as a promotional thing from Jaguar, which we're going to give back to them. So he draws in people to come and speak to us and stuff. Same with the Morgan. Um, wow. Yeah, so they go back after a while. I think it's not very useful in police. The car no, like no, it's not useful. No, no. Hundred and ten thousand pounds. So it's yeah, not, it's not exactly. Used by it's yeah. more expenses rather than protection. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Well, so. Thank you very much for this information, no sir. Problems. Thank no you very much. Thank you. Okay, guys, you see on the autosport show, even the police cars we have. And, uh, you know, it's, it's an amazing idea to uh, be here and tell people that uh, no drink driving and also to show the kids that you need to wear your seatbelt uh, to educate them the uh, road rules and stuff like this. Uh, it's really amazing idea and um, I'm happy that it's happening, you know. Um, it's amazing. Okay, uh, whew, I don't know what is these guys. I seriously don't know what if these monsters are, but it looks insane. Look at that. What? Wait. To whom can I speak about this? About this? 
monsters. Excuse me, sir. Can I just have a few words with you about these vehicles because it looks really amazing. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm filming for my YouTube channel. All right. Uh, yeah, Internet Racing School. And you know, I'm first, I'm first time at the uh, auto, uh, autosport show. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what this vehicle is about? It's, 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 it looks like a monster. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, it, uh, it's a twin Griffin. Um, it's 36.8 litres each. Uh, this one is running on methanol. The one over there is running on aviation fuel. Um, this produces about four to four and a half thousand horsepower now. It's running on methanol. Um, it, and we, it, it's more something like a drug uh, race vehicle? No, it's a, tract modified, a heavy modified tractor puller. What is the purpose of these tractors? Uh, it pulls a weight transfer sledge ah. uh, up a hundred meter track. Whoa. So you like a drag strip, but it's yeah. made out of clay and, and sand. And it's, the idea is to pull a sledge that can travel um, and you pull it as far as you can up the 100 metre track. Uh, and then it's measured by la laser down to millimetres, who can pull it the furthest. And there might be 10 tractors of different... So we have wow. two Rolls-Royce Aero Griffins. Uh -huh. um, somebody else in this class might run four Hemis with superchargers or four Isotof uh, gas turbines uh -huh. from a helicopter. Um, it's very big in uh, Holland and Germany and, and uh, the rest of Europe. Um, and we're just here exhibiting to try and promote the, the British sport. Unbelievable. And is it happening already in the Britain? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have, we have three events here in the UK. Uh, uh, and when, then, when the first one happening? Uh, July, uh, middle, middle of July. And no. then uh, the British finals are the end of August, August Bank Holiday weekend. And is that different places? Uh, that's Great Eccleston near Blackpool in Lancashire. Brilliant. That's like the Santa Pod of the tractor pulling world. It's called Great Eccleston. It's Unbelievable. I definitely want to see that. Yeah, yeah. Come and visit us. Uh, we have information about these tractors. I've been scared to call them tractors, but they are actually tractors, but they just modified with the engines. <laughs> wow. Did you hear the capacity of engine and, and it works on methanol and the airplane uh, petrol? It's <laughs> I don't know how it looks like, but I definitely want to see that. Okay. Oh, actually. Oh my God, my camera goes crazy today. I need to sort it out. I need to sort out my camera. Okay, guys. Can you see all these cars? Look at that. Can you see all these cars? So, I found, found out a little bit information about these cars. These cars designed for the grass racing. And look, 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 I'll show you. <laughs> Inside, ta-da! Nothing. Nothing inside. You see that? Look, no windscreen, because you don't need it. Why do you need a windscreen if you race on the grass? Look, no lights, no lights, no front bumper, uh, even radiator somewhere. Uh, where's the engine? Is the engine at the back? No, engine at the front. Yeah, engine at the front. <laughs> Unbelievable. I've never seen something like this. Look, this one. Is this one raised on the grass as well? Interesting. Oh, look, look, we have one car on a stand. Let's see what we have underneath the car. Nothing. You see? No. Is that your car? Yeah, it's not, yeah. Sorry, can you, you okay just talk with me on the camera for yeah, my YouTube yeah. channel? Yeah, yeah. yeah? Uh, can you tell me a little bit? This is, this is the car for the grass racing, yeah? Yes. And what is it grass racing? Because this is the first time I hear something like this. Well, grass racing is racing around a, uh, an oval circuit, uh -huh. which is on a dirt, like gravel. Wow. 
So uh, there's loads of different. So you've got uh, junior saloons and class one. Well, mm -hmm. junior saloons is 12 to uh, 16 year olds, and class one is the se exactly the same spec of uh, minis, uh, the mini. Yeah. And the Micros and Yarrises, they race in junior in class one. The class one is the adult, adult version. Then you've got twos, threes, fours, five, six, seven, eight, nines, and tens. They all go up. But the sevens wow. are the ones to watch out for when they've got the uh, two motorbike engines in the back. And they can have whatever engine they want. They can go up to like six litres if they want. What? This is this is the most uh, powerful one. The most powerful is definitely the seven, yes. And what is the your car has engine? What type of engine? Uh, it's a 998 uh, standard engine. There's not much you can do. Standard to vehicle engine. Standard, uh, standard classic mini engine 998. Wow. It's very limited what we can do to the to the cars or under the rules. And where is the championship happening? Uh, All you, over. It could all be. All over UK, yeah. Like the first bass round, like the bass is one of the uh, championships where where a lot of people go, and that is in over the first round is in Ireland. Uh -huh. So it's all over, it can be all over, where, anywhere. Where we can find the dates? Is there any website for this championship? Yeah, if you look on uh, National Autographs, this this logo here, oh, yeah. National Autograph Sport Association, if you have a look on that and you go onto their website and look at the fixtures, it'll tell you it's called Bass, which is Bass, Bass it's called. That That's one of the main championships, and you've also got UK Autographs. Well, that, the Bass is definitely the one to go to. Nice one. Well, what's your name, mate? My name's Harry Ashley. Harry, thank you very much for all this information. No it's worries. really amazing information. Yeah, no and uh, I'll try to visit you guys. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very, thank much, you very much, mate. Thank you. Cheers. So, as you can see, it's a lot of different classes, but we're not going to chat about every class because it's, look, it's plenty of them here. And uh, I think this is the one which he talked about. Uh, no, not this one. This is a Vauxhall engine. But there is uh, the uh, cars with the two motorbike engines. Guys, it's... Look, I'll show you. Look at that. Just a second. Just give me a few seconds. Just a few seconds, guys. And... Ta-da! You see that? And this is only small part of this show. Very small part. But you see this whole space and it's like 10 times more i would say even 20 times more you see that and i physically not going to be able to chat to all of them uh, but you see this fort you see this fort it looks very nice Ford Focus, Ford Focus. Hiya. Yeah. Sorry, to whom can I speak about this Ford Focus? Sorry? To whom can I speak about this Ford Focus? Which one? Uh, all of them. <laughs> is that, what is that? Is that championship or something like this? No, no, it's just show cars. Oh, it's just a show cars? Yeah. Oh, it, just to show how nice, nice these cars and that's it. Ah, okay. And um, is that like you, you promoting tuning companies or something like this? We all use different ones. Oh, right. The group, so group the group is the group is the wing club. Oh, the group is wing club. Yeah. So this is the name of the group. Yeah. We're all part of the same club, as in the wing club. Uh -huh. We all use different tuning club, tuning. People. And what is the what is the purpose of the club? Like, what, what is the main purpose of being here for the club? Promote the wings. Promote the wings. That's what the group's called, Mark Two Wings. Show what you've done to your car, so it feels That's it. Yeah. your car. Oh. Sorry for asking these questions, no, guys. Right. I'm just completely new to autosport. You, you, know? you go to your normal everyday car shows, <laughs> but this is this is like the biggest car show you can possibly go to, isn't it? Oh, where else autosport. people can find you? Where else are you going? Oh, every, anywhere, everywhere. The next ones, you're all about to take over. They represent that. Isle of White. White. Isle of White. Yeah. yeah. Take over. Uh, this is the big event as well. Yeah. yeah. Massive. Wow. Especially for Ford. Just for Ford. And it's happening, as I understand, at Island. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got it. Got Especially it. anyone in a Ford car club, everyone's going to the Island. And Watch. we can find details on your club page or something like this? Facebook. Facebook. Facebook? What is the Facebook page? 
Isle of Wight takeover. Isle of Wight takeover. Yeah. Um, guys, I'll leave you details in the description down below so you can check it. And I definitely want to visit it already. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much for this That's information, right. guys. Sorry interrupting into your That's conversation. Okay. I came here with a camera like, what are you doing here? <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. Right, so this is only show cars and it's amazing you know it's just the uh, car enthusiasts coming here to show what they've done with their cars and plus they're promoting this amazing wings looks look i even gonna show you look at that see that you see that that looks beautiful or oh, look at this one you okay if i film it thank you Look at that wings. Guys, it's amazing. And look, look, look at the front lights. Look here. Wow. Wow. I like these cars. Oh, look at these lights as well. This one is LED lights. Oh my God. And look, we here we have a racing truck racing truck look at this engine oh my god wow wow gtr nissan gtr nismo this one nissan gta modified racing car is that one which yeah this one doing blanc paint look guys this is for the blanc paint oh i like the blanc paint have you ever seen blanc paint or if you haven't definitely visit branch hatch this year happening uh i don't remember which round but it's happening at the branch hatch so i recommend you to visit it and you remember this Citroen guys, we spoke about this Citroen at Cartmania. Ta-da! We met our friends here. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> A Ford. I thought they, they're chasing me. Let's go from here guys, let's go. I think they find out that I'm filming for my YouTube channel. Let's run. And guys, I found something else. Let me let me let me turn around, turn around, turn around. Look at that Lamborghini 4x4. That is insane. This one is Lamborghini 4x4 Euros. And this is Lamborghini Aventador. Guys, when I see this engine, I'll try to show you my stabilizer. Hello, here we go. When I see this engine, look, look, look. I think you're screaming now when you see that, yeah? You Lambo enthusiasts. Oh yeah, you love it. You love it. I love it as well, guys. But look at this color. I don't know the color. It's a green. Is that interesting? Is that paint? It's definitely not paint. Right. So this is what I wanted to show you, these two Lamborghinis. Here we can find Ferrari. Another Lamborghini. Over there another Ferrari. Over here driving another Lamborghini.
that was special for me. Thank you, thank you. Oh, look at this Ferrari, guys. Amazing pace car. Look, pace car. With a painted bonnet like this. Looks nice. I want to see every pace car like this. <laughs> that would make races. Uh, not the races, but that would make um, when something happened. And uh, actually, it's a good idea, guys. Look, look, the car, yeah, it says pace car, it says Ferrari can run. Uh, but, but you know, look, it, it would be an amazing idea to have a pace car painted like this. So, when something happened during the race, and when pace car coming out, it's uh, interesting to watch. You know, because usually people are very bored when the pace car driving around the circuit. Look, I just now made a new idea. The pace cars should be painted. Okay, look, I have another portion for you uh, of supercars. Uh, Lamborghini, Porsche, which one is that? Which one is that? 9, 9.11? Yeah, baby, this one, 9.11. Okay. Here we have a Mustang. American horses, a real American horses. Oh my God! Look how wide body kit has this horse Mustang. Okay, uh, BMW. Here you go, BMW. Another Porsche. Another po oh, and this is a classic, classic, classic Ferrari. Unbelievable. This one is classic GTR, but it's a new GTR. <laughs> it's a new GTR, but GTR as itself, it's a legend. Well, actually, the same like Ferrari. So, guys, this is it. I hope you like this video. If you do like it, hit that like button. Uh, leave your comments. Leave your comments. Um, leave your comments about anything, about my English language, about uh, uh, am I talking good about cars or not good. Uh, if you like it, leave your comments. If you don't like it, leave your comments, you know. Uh, hit that button, like, dislike, you know. It's really good to know your opinion. That's it. See ya.